Hey everyone, welcome to the Wild and Uncut podcast brought to you by Ruger. I'm your host, Christy Titus. Thank you for tuning in. The line is going hot, so let's go full send on this episode. Everybody, thank you for joining me for the Wild and Uncut podcast. We are live at the Wild Sheep Foundation convention in Reno, Nevada at the Wilderness Athlete booth with Kevin Gian from Wilderness Athlete. Kevin, you have been with WA for like uh, ever. Se- like s- seven years now, I yeah. think. Yeah, I think it's like seven years, close to six or seven, something like that. Yeah. A long time. Yeah. So yeah, what are you responsible for exactly? Like let's go into full adult mode what what do you have to do every oh, day gosh i mean it was funny i like when i started like seven years ago it was uh six years ago i was just answering the phones packing boxes uh it was just courtney and i um and so like kind of a jack of all trades wife <laughs> <laughs> yeah story story yeah, yeah that we um yeah a little bit of everything you yeah. know like like everything and like, nowadays We've built such an awesome team, and everyone still does, you know, a little bit of everything. I get to focus mostly on marketing, you know, mm-hmm. partnerships, relationships with different uh, vendors, uh, yeah. things like that. Um, but yeah, marketing, I would say, is probably the best way to describe all of it, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're growing all the time, so it's, it's nice to be able to kind of, you know, find a niche and, and really focus on the things that you enjoy doing and, and you're good at. Uh, because I think in early days I was doing things that I wasn't very good at yeah. and still finding people in our company that are better at doing the things than, you know, that I am. That's so. called the evolution of every company yeah. in life. And that's, yeah. that's the beauty of growth is yeah. you'll, you'll do something one year and the next year you realize, well, we should have done it this way. And yeah. that's how you grow into the successful company you are. Now I'm looking back. I think I've been with WA for 11 yeah. years. Yeah. Longer than me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, right. Oof. Yeah, I'm getting old. <laughs> um, so when when my first recollection of WA is we had two different bars, like yep. meal replacement type protein bars. Mountain Berry. Mountain and Berry and then the chocolate peanut butter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we had Hydrate and Recover. Yeah, yeah. That was kind of it. Yeah, the product lines exploded. Um, that's the other thing that I, I take on a lot more of now is mm-hmm. product development. So yeah. Um, you know, we have a pretty full line, like, you know, from probiotics, uh, joint supplements, fish oils, everything, pre-workouts, yes. all of that. Uh, but it's grown quite a bit. Um, you know, the health industry, I think, as a whole has, has grown. grown, obviously. Yeah. And especially during, you know, the pandemic and such, yeah. people are thinking a lot more about how to take care of themselves better. Yeah. Um, you know, hunters, sportsmen, they're, they're all treating their bodies as they should, you know, as athletes and yeah. more and more. So. You know, we're always just trying to find not the product that is like the catchy hip thing, but the thing that'll actually make a real difference in yeah. people's lives and the health and their performance, yeah. even if it's not on the mountain, you know, if it's just in their day-to-day life. So it's- uh, Absolutely, and that's what, you know, what's, in my opinion, what really makes Wilderness Athlete a standout company is the fact that you guys are so, um, your business has so much integrity. In it. And what I love about what you're doing is you're not buying a product, slapping a WA label on it and putting it out to retail. Um, yeah. You guys are actually working with formulators out mm-hmm. of what is it? It's Georgetown. Uh, well, company. we have a we have a, a whole board of um, people that have backgrounds in not just. I mean, our our formulator is is really our our main our only formulator. Yeah. But he is, you know, he advises with and works with people that are different sit on the board of Georgetown Medical, mm-hmm. uh, you know, people that work in different physiology labs and universities, like one that used to work at Boise. He just recently, you know, changed universities. Um, but there's a lot of very current science and yeah. very current uh, information um, behind the formulas that mm-hmm. we're developing. Um, but like you said, like 
in the nutrition industry as a whole, white labeling products is a pretty easy way to go about it. Absolutely. You know, you can take a very generic formula that you can find at Walmart and there's really nothing unique about it. Um, very uh, underdosed ingredients or just not the best ingredients, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And it's just marketed differently, you know, yeah. and, and we're doing the opposite of that. Yeah. You know, we're You guys are working sure. with your own formulators. Yeah. And yeah. what I love about WA is there was a huge, let me go back a little bit. A few years ago, there was a huge, like, quote unquote, like bust yeah. of a lot of supplement companies where they were advertising, and these are big brands, big company names uh, that were out there that were in stores like Walmart and GNC and health stores. and and there were some people that went in and did some studies that, that proved what was on the label wasn't even in the product you were consuming. So everything's not regulated by the FDA and um, with, with the supplement world, and, and every, that's full disclosure on all sure. bottles. Yeah. What I love about WA is you guys ensure that what is on the label is actually in the product yeah. to the specifications that you actually list on the label. And there's no one to regulate you to do that. It's really easy for a lot of companies to come in and do rice filler or different types of fillers. Um, and when you have athletes that are taking a natural supplement and they're a tested athlete, they need to have the confidence that what they're consuming isn't going to cause them to test out of a major right. competition. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, I think what it kind of boils down to is, is trust that, you know, there's um, like a special, like, like Sheep Show, for example, and athletes like, like yourself, like people that have been with us for a long time. A lot of the customers and people we have here have been taking our products for six, seven, eight years. Uh, and that's, and that's really, I think, where a lot of the, the proof is in the legitimacy of a company. Um, you know, because if you do cut those corners and you start fudging yeah. what you're using and how much you're including in X, Y, and Z, that kind of stuff uh, gets flushed out generally pretty yeah. quick. You know, when when the public is always getting more savvy, they're more interested in mm -hmm. nutrition, uh, there's more information being shared out there yeah. with, you know, internet, social media, everything else. Um, you know, you really rely on trust, especially when you're talking about products that you're putting in your body yeah. to improve your health. and. Uh, with all the different health conditions people have, um, that there's considerations there. The other thing is, I mean, we've made changes to certain formulas. Um, you know, our products, our, our brand is unique in the sense that you'll have an athlete, a hunter, who's living 10 days in the backcountry, maybe by himself. Mm -hmm. um, so he needs to be able to trust that there's nothing in this product that is going to interact negatively with, you know, medication. some pre-existing yeah, condition, medication, or just flat out make him sick, you know. Mm -hmm. and we had uh, years ago, <clears throat> we, we used to include glucosamine in our Hydrate and Recover, mm -hmm. and there's a very, very small percentage of the population that um, has a shellfish allergy, uh, and it, it actually is an even smaller percentage of that population that that allergy <clears throat> is, is truly like life or death. Yeah. But it's still there. It's a very small percentage. And unless um, you read the fine print, you might not have known yeah, that and, was in there. Right, and, and, and in the supplement industry, nutritionally, most included glucosamine comes from shellfish. That's where it's generally sourced from. And we never had an issue. Like we never had customers that were like, oh, I had this bad reaction. But we just, we wanted to, we had enough customers ask about it. And we were like, you know, let's get ahead of the problem. And we removed it. And that's when we added branched chain amino acids mm -hmm. in it. You know, we weren't adding enough glucosamine anyways to make a, a really like large difference mm -hmm. in like your, your joint health and your collagen mm -hmm. health, and not collagen health, but you know, tissue health. We have other, you know, products with glucosamine in it. So, just things like that. Um, you know, you want to make sure that you trust the company you're you're working with. And when you've been around for 17 years, like we have, and you have as many devoted, diehard fans as you have that have, you know, attested to how much it helps their, you know, health and performance and all that. Um, you know, it's it means a lot yeah. for sure. Yeah. And that's the longevity of of wilderness athlete yeah. as a whole. Uh, um, mm -hmm. And so you guys went from being the supplement company that made a couple of meal replacement bars, protein type bars in Hydrate and Recover to literally like a full lineup of products. And you guys have, um, you know, there was a huge push for paleo a couple of years ago. You guys answered the call to that. You still have a paleo Hydrate, Hydrate and Recover, paleo-ish, because yeah, it's paleo -ish. not perfect. Yeah. Um, but it, it's sweetened with agave. Yeah. You know, so you're trying to fill that niche of, okay, how can we service consumers that are wanting 
even a more like holistic or natural approach right. to their health and fitness because there's a lot of people that are true purists out there and, and yeah. you guys really uh really answer that yeah yeah you got to listen to your customers you know yeah. i mean like we can make what we like and what we think is the best for the way we want to live mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean anything if you're not addressing the the demand and, and the the needs of the public you know as you know probably better than the vast majority of people here the nutrition and health industry though is just it's a it's changing all the damn yeah. time there's there's fads that come and go um and we're like we're privy to all those however you know you got to do your research to make sure that there's actual things that are rooted in science and not just uh not just you know marketing or some mm -hmm. celebrity in hollywood that makes some diet sound like it's the right way to live mm -hmm. um, we don't we're not going to be that susceptible to just that kind of marketing uh yeah. side of it but um yeah, I mean, you got to listen to your customers. You know, actually, something else too that I think is important to know that a lot of people here that we're kind of, we're talking about more yeah. is is our working athlete division, yeah. which has been growing over the last five years, um, and that's our our B two B side of our business. We sell hydrate and recover, uh, predominantly, and energy and focus to utility and the companies, construction companies, mining uh, companies. Um, there's a you know obviously OSHA mandates that employers in certain you know heat sensitive type of jobs and you know labor intensive jobs supply their workers with a hydration drink um, we're ushering hydrate recover into that space as a much better solution for mitigating like heat related incidents accidents uh, heat stroke all all sorts of things where people are i mean literally life and death Absolutely. you know mo most of us here it's not a life life and death matter for like the why we use this stuff we want to feel better hunt harder look better all of that but in certain uh realms like in these like a construction guy or a guy who's a heavy equipment operator you know if he gets a heat stress to a certain point and has a lapse in judgment it's a life and death situation Could be, so yeah. we uh we have been growing so quickly in that space that we have got i mean literally millions and millions of servings of like our hydrate and recover you know across the country yeah. and the you know that yeah, that comes with a bit of a you know you're always kind of a little bit nervous about that because it's it's opening yourself up to a lot more uh, criticism and input and, and feedback and results and we're getting some really really astonishing um, positive uh, feedback and like the the like the number of heat related incidents that companies are having annually is plummeting once they switch to hydrate and recover employees are drinking a lot more of the product that the company's buying because well, they like the way good. it tastes yeah they're wait they're sick way less they're mm -hmm. not coming to they're not you know filing for as many sick days every year mm -hmm. you know um, the other companies that have been in that space for a long time, like like Squincher and Gatorade, um, it's just an inferior product, and mm -hmm. there's really not you know no way to to, to say it other than that. But um, you know, companies are starting to invest a lot more in their in the health and safety of their of their employees, and that's why when they look at our product, like yeah, it's more expensive than the the five dollars you're spending on a pallet of the other stuff but you're getting a hell of a lot more out of it. It's making a bigger difference. So. Well, and I think on the hunting side of it, we've all been on a hunt at some point where somebody has had massive cramping. Yeah. Which is yeah. really common with electrolyte imbalances. Yeah. And just supplementing even just once a day with hydrate and recover really will offset that. I mean, for me, it's like almost like gospel. At, in the evening when I settle down, even before I consume food, yeah. the first thing I do is drink down a pouch of hydrate and recover, give my body back everything that it needs that I lost in sweating, get my sodium levels corrected, mm -hmm. potassium levels corrected, because that imbalance between your sodium and potassium level is really what can cause you to oh, go yeah. down. Um, and it makes such a huge difference. Um, you know, I've seen some of the most like athletic people go down for cramping. Yeah. My cameraman went down a couple of years ago. He had a salt deficiency. He didn't bring enough water. Yeah. And I mean, he, I thought he was gonna die coming out of the mountain. Oh yeah. Like, he was just wrecked. It'll take the toughest people in the world and just drop them to yes. their knees. Uh, muscle cramps, especially like, you know, the big muscles, like a hamstring cramp. Yes. I mean, I've, I've, I used to struggle with that years ago especially like when I'd crawl into like a mummy bag after a long day of hiking and hunting or whatever. Um, and we actually fly these flags, like, you know, asking people have muscle cramps because yeah. it's something that people struggle with for a lifetime. I mm -hmm. talked to a guy a couple hours ago here. He said, I've struggled with cramps my entire life. And you're trying every remedy you can find to try to fix it. Um, 
Now, we're not promising that Hydrate and Recover is going to cure your muscle cramps because they actually, it, muscle cramps are really, it's really compl like complicated. complicated. You know, it's, yes, it's an electrolyte imbalance, but there's a lot of other things at play that science doesn't totally have like a full grip on. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, what, what I, my, my guess, you know, we have a really balanced profile of electrolytes, like not just a ton of sodium, you know, yeah. like most electrolyte drinks out there just have a sodium lot of sodium, sugar. sugar minimal or no potassium almost no magnesium mm -hmm. and those are also you know really pivotal electrolytes yeah. in, in in muscle function and muscle mm -hmm. you know, energetic so mm -hmm. you know whatever the case may be like years ago we, we did spartan races uh and you know there's hundreds of thousands of people out there running all day and constantly getting muscle cramps yeah. and that was one of the biggest things that people were drawn to with us because it was it would help them it would get rid of their muscle cramps so well and the other thing you guys added was the branch chain amino acids yeah. and specifically what becomes really important as an athlete in the field is leucine isoleucine and valine they're three amino acids they're only present in like typically meat derived products and those amino acids specifically your body will draw a lot of energy from when you're in um, in a super sport or exhaustive environment replenishing that with a liquid yeah. is anytime you drink something whether it's a protein powder or a meal replacement or a vitamin when you drink it your body utilizes it and uptakes oh, it yeah. almost instantly yeah. so it's really giving your body it's like a shot of yeah. of, of everything that you've just exhausted right. out of it really. oh yeah yeah it's we you know of course i'm biased i love i love our company i love our products but um we spent a lot of time looking for other yeah. formulas out there like well beyond the hunting market like you know all of the all the different supplement consuming markets out there of adventure racing traditional sports you name it um and there really is not many at all uh products like hydrate and recover in terms mm -hmm. of like the vitamins we include the minerals we include the electrolytes the low sugar mm -hmm. um the natural flavors uh, another big separator is you know like the adaptogenic herbs we use like chisandra yes. extract things that really help mitigate uh, stress. And uh, I think it, it all culminates to a product that just makes you feel good too. And you know, most people don't wanna be bored with or need to be like told every little, you mm -hmm. know, milligram of this and that when they come here to talk to they us. They just wanna feel better. Yeah, they know it tastes good, they know it feels better, and they don't feel like they just consume 25 grams of sugar yeah. after drinking something. I crash and, so bad if I eat sugar. I, yeah, yeah. When I'm on the mountain, I've pretty much eliminated it because it makes me feel so bad. Like if I yeah. eat chocolate, I have a headache. Or I get like that sugar high, and then it's such a significant drop for me. Yeah. It's not even worth really including it. I, I'm more of that slow burn. Um, sure. I want nuts, I want dried fruit, mm -hmm. things that are gonna be, well, it's specifically apples, I think, uh -huh. are like one of the best because it's so lo low in glycemic yeah. index. Yeah. Um, so it's a good slow burn on food and, and yeah. so much of what we do that does that. But like our meal replacement for me, I bring that on all of my backpack hunts for breakfast because it has carbohydrates, it has protein, it has a yeah. small amount of fat, not a ton, but mm -hmm. a small amount. And I'm not having to think about, okay, do I need to cook breakfast? Yeah. Do I need to have, if I just eat oatmeal, how am I gonna feel? Cause I'm that person, if I eat instant oats, yeah. I'm hungry in an hour. It the sugar quick. makes me feel horrible. It yeah. doesn't last. Just a reminder, your A tickets are to be distributed by 3.30. Roughly 15, 20 minutes, we'll be doing that drawing in the raffle area. So your day credit drawings need to be distributed prior to that 330 drawing. Thank you. It, it, the, the energy doesn't last. So what I do is, uh, there's a lot of people who are like, well, how are you going to eat a meal replacement in the backcountry? You're going to make a mess in a shaker can or whatever. Right. I put mine in just little baggies mm -hmm. and I add water. I zip the baggie up and I just literally oh, yeah. like toss it around in the yeah. baggie and squeeze it. I mean, you kind of have to work it a little bit and make sure the powder dissolves and then yeah. I drink it. Oh yeah. Um, and it works super well. Or I'll even add a little bit of um, raw oats into it, uncooked oats. Yeah. Um, and I have had great luck with that. And I was talking to Chris Denham yesterday, who's run the rim to rim to rim a numerous times, yeah. which is kind yeah. of like something I totally admire that you guys do. Yeah. But he said he's completely off whole food for that race uh -huh. and has switched to our meal replacement yeah. as a fuel source for that. Because at some point, it sometimes you're so exhausted, and I, I think there's plenty of us that have been there, where you're so exhausted you don't even want to eat. Yeah. 
Yeah. And your body is like in this full, like almost shut down and you don't feel well. And if you could take and just drink that liquid energy, like yeah. liquid food. And I mean, I, I love eating whole food. I think it's great. It's the best, the best you can do for your body is whole sure. food. But our meal replacement is oh, yeah. such a great place in so many in so many spaces. There's people that, you know, don't want to eat breakfast in the morning. They're mm -hmm. they're really anti food in the morning. It makes them nauseous. They can't have a big meal. It's a great way to get in those calories, start your metabolism. Yeah. Um, instead of going in that anorexic phase and having a blood sugar crash in the yeah. morning, I'm always a proponent yeah. of eating something. So if you're not a food eater, yeah. meal replacement is a great way to go. Hey, I'm Christy Titus, and for the past several years, I've really come to rely on OnX Hunt for mapping both in and out of the field. But now I'm also using it to plan and research units for my application season. OnX has teamed up with TopRet to show you everything that you need for draw odds in most of the Western states. And access to TopRet services is completely free to all elite members. I now have both the power of Onyx Hunt and TopRet to help me strategize my state hunting applications. If you haven't already, download Onyx Hunt and upgrade to the elite membership to access TopRet as well as other great elite benefits. Yeah, yeah, I think meal replacements, like, honestly, I think one of my favorite products because of, like, a lot of the things you just said, but, like, I know you're a big believer in it, too. Mark Paulson's really been a big believer of it when he started this company, um, but muscle management, you know, mm -hmm. that's, like, one of the leading causes of uh, the rapid decline in Absolutely. our health as we age. Uh, I mean, sarcopenia is, like, the extreme end of that, but, you know, People often, like you said, don't eat breakfast, and they think they're just trying to they're trying to lose weight, trying I'm to stay lean. I'm going to do pre-breakfast cardio. Yeah, that kind of thing. And you know, if you, there's ways to do that responsibly, you mm -hmm. know, but for a lot of people, when you're not consuming the right type of nutrients, you're not getting enough protein in your system. Um, your body only has your your muscle to yeah, turn to, to break for down. energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Absolutely. you lose muscle over the long haul, and, and it's not about muscle management. Isn't about being a muscle head and lifting weights your whole life. It's about preserving and supporting, you know, active, viable mm -hmm. muscle to stay strong, to stay active, to keep a healthy metabolism mm -hmm. throughout the longevity of your life. Um, and it makes a huge difference. You know, like we have people all the time that they have a one hunt a year that they, they want to lose, you know, 12 pounds for because they're overweight. Um, and, you they know, lose most, 12 of the wrong pounds. Right. Yeah, exactly. And, and especially when you're trying to crunch those 12 pounds in the last 15, 20 days of the year, like, you know, generally people starve themselves. They lose a lot of that weight and muscle. So mm -hmm. when it comes time to, to yeah, hunt. Yeah, because your body has to break down the muscle to create glucose. Yeah. Because without glucose, you die. Like, sure. yeah, I mean, that's literally science. what happens. Without glucose, you die. Yeah. So your body, if you don't eat enough and you don't fuel your body properly, it will fuel itself. And, yeah. and a lot of rapid weight loss diets come from muscle breakdown. So yeah. I, as a nutritionist, I always told my clients, like, look, I understand you don't want to eat breakfast. I understand you, you, you can't consume a meal or you have a hard time. Drink some food, even yeah. if it's half of a scoop of protein powder yeah. or meal replacement. Mm -hmm. Just get something in your body that has a balanced ratio yeah. of carbs, fat, and protein because mm -hmm. um, the way carbohydrates function in your body is it opens up the cells to where you can store nutrients. So a lot of people are like, I don't want to eat a bunch of carbs because I'm going to go into fat storage mode, right? Yeah. It's a huge, huge fear. But meat on the other side, it tells your body, it triggers a, a process called hormone sensitive lipase and that tells your body to release fat from storage so your body can use that stored body fat as a fuel source. So if you eat just enough carbs to fuel your brain, to fuel your body so that your body's not breaking down muscle for glucose, so you give it enough glucose naturally, it doesn't break down muscle, and then you give it enough protein at the same time, yeah. your body can say, okay, well, I can relax, I can release this stored body fat, yeah. we can use it as fuel. And so in your next workout, after you've been in um, your cardiovascular uh, target heart rate for roughly 30 minutes. You burn through kind of that immediate energy your body has, and then your body can switch its fuel source to burning fat. And it makes it extremely efficient at fat utilization. So duration of cardio is something I've always pressed for people like, 
you know, don't just do 30 minutes if you if you can do that extra 15. Yeah. Because that's where you really tap into that stored sure. body fat. And in the ratio of food or how you consume food really matters. And there are some people that are like, hey, man, I, I want to make my own meal replacement. So our protein powder, yeah. it's great. We've got... Uh, a, a good blend of proteins from calcium yeah. casinate in there. Mm. We've got some soy in there. No, it's, no soy actually. No we, soy, no soy. soy. It's just whey. Yeah. Wait, okay. It's okay. Yeah, you're good. So we have a great proprietary blend. We have yeah. calcium casinate and then a whey-based protein. Yeah. No soy yeah. in our in our protein powders, mm. which for some men it's not great to eat a ton of soy. Yeah. So it just depends on your own kind of yeah. biochemical makeup on how your body responds right. to soy. Right. Um, some people love it. There's studies that show with men it may have some adverse side effects. So it's yeah. great. Ours doesn't have it. You can make your own shakes. Right, right. Yeah, yeah There's. I mean, there's so many reasons to use a shake. Like for a sportsman, for, for a hunter, um, and I think a lot of people should start looking at a meal replacement, our meal replacement shake, you know, if I had my choice as a snack as a as a midday meal mm -hmm. in the backcountry there's fewer ways to get 200 calories with that type of fiber protein and fat content as quickly as you can with that shake okay. so there's 20 grams of protein in a scoop memory serves uh well right? in meal replacement it's 18. 18 okay. yeah in our others it's 20. Yeah. yeah so okay so 18 grams in the meal replacement but you're also yeah. getting carbohydrates yep that's Fiber everything well. you need. Yeah. So just drink it down, get a quick boost, and keep right. keep on the trail. You know, you're yeah. not slowing down to try to sit and eat a big meal, and yeah. you know, because sometimes you're just not. No. And it's not it's not heavy then either. No, you know, it's really rapidly digesting, and that's one thing about our shakes, all of our shakes, that people always you know are drawn to is that they say, oh, it doesn't give me bloated. I don't you know have upset you know GI issues yes. and all that. One of the biggest reasons is we add uh, protease enzymes into our formula. And it's really, uh, I don't know why more proteins don't do this, but these are the enzymes that exist in your gut that break down the mm -hmm. proteins that, that you have existing there already. A lot of people, because we have pretty poor gut health, uh, have a, you know, a pretty poor balance of those or mm -hmm. low presence of those. Um, so by adding it to the formula, it just speeds up the, the breakdown and absorption of these mm -hmm. shakes. Uh, you know much more rapidly so because there's digestive. a lot of protein shakes that people will try protein powder yeah. and when he says gi upset we're talking like running to the bathroom yeah. 911 emergency yeah we don't need to be cute about it you some know. <laughs> people cannot handle protein powder yeah. and if you're that person then you know but if you're not that person and you haven't tried a protein powder you may not like understand what we mean by gi upset so super layman's terms that's why yeah. and there's a lot of people that are terrified to even eat a protein powder replacement yeah. um because of the gi issues it causes but ours is is does a, it yeah. and it's not necessarily perfect for everyone no but it is definitely has everything in it to improve the uh potential yeah <laughs> uh, sure but again from it. like in the mountains in the back country a lot of times, you know, you're eating bars and, and Tons of meals, carbs. and a lot of times that stuff doesn't move very well yeah. in your system. Uh, like our meal replacement shake has a lot of fiber in it. Yeah. That definitely helps with a lot of, uh, you know, digestive health and helps things move along a lot quicker. Yeah. And, and that's just a much better way to live in the back country versus, you know, being backed up for three days. Mm -hmm. You know, no one, you don't feel like doing much of anything mm -hmm. when you get to that state. So. You know, one of the turning points, and Chris and I uh, were talking about this, and Remy were talking about this this morning, about you know food preparation and um, taking certain supplements with you into the backcountry. And for me, like that, that kind of light bulb switched uh, a handful of years ago when I realized, you know, like the whole year I, I I try to eat well, I supplement well, I'm I'm trying to live as healthy as I can. And then I get ready and I go on this hunt for a week and, you and my diet anything. falls apart. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, this is the most demanding week of my life physically. Mm -hmm. And yet my diet to support that falls apart, you yeah. know? So, you know, with a little bit more emphasis on, you know, what you're bringing with you, what you're giving your body, yeah. you know, you can make a hell of a, a, a change in the way you feel, which, you know, ultimately just improves your experience and enjoyment mm -hmm. of your hunt. You know, even if, even if it's not a successful hunt, you still have a hell of a lot better time. You have more energy, you're sleeping better. Um, and that's really what it's about. Mm -hmm. So, Our joint advantage, I mean, I have had hip pain, like massive yeah. hip pain my whole life. And I, I did my first sheep hunt and I did not take joint advantage. I don't know if it was a product at that time that we had. Uh -huh. um, 
the next time I went on a sheep hunt, I had been on Joint Advantage and actually our fish oil. Yeah. Which our fish oil, if you compare us to Mega Reds, we have so much more. I can't remember the MG difference between us and Mega Reds, but yeah. our fish oil is like supercharged. Right. Uh, right. Fish oil, very high quality, doesn't cause the burping. Mm -hmm. um, so it's yeah, I, very I'm very happy with our fish oil. It's yeah, really good. Yeah. Um, but the combination of those two things alone have made a tremendous difference for me. Like when I go to lay down and sleep on those little tiny rubber mats at night, yeah, like. Yeah. Um, the difference for me is night and day, especially, you know, when you're, when you have an extended stay pack on, your load lifter straps are taking that weight off your shoulders, putting it on your hips. So for me, somebody that always suffered with chronic hip pain, having our fish oil and joint advantage, yeah. and I was consistent. I took it every day on my hunts. Um, and it, it makes a huge difference. I, for yeah, me. I can attest especially to Especially as you get yeah. older, you know. I know. I mean, I'm, I'm 32 and I, I use it and I need it because I've had I've had operations on both shoulders, dislocated them a, a bunch of times uh, from football when I was younger, um, and I take I take lean not lean life joint advantage and fish oil in conjunction a lot, and it definitely helps with the way your joints you know controls inflammation, yeah. helps you produce more synovial fluid, which really is just think about it like hydraulic grease and and, and oil mm -hmm. for your joints you know so helps with mobility. Ultimately, it just really helps your joints feel a lot more spry than they than they than they would otherwise, and it gets to the point when you take them consistently, you just start to feel the way you feel like you should, mm -hmm. and then you stop for a few days and you realize, oh yeah, like that's that's kind of what I was missing. It's what I need. Mm -hmm. um, but that combination is something that I I've lived by for a while. It's uh, and you know joint health is you can't really you know ultimately with time you're gonna lose lose cartilage. It's just yes. part of life. But you can do things to help the, the the structure of your joints. You can help the hydration of those of that cartilage. Um, lowering inflammation is is definitely important too. I was uh, talking with a guy earlier about knee pain, and he was like, "Man, I got down off this, you know, going downhill for like three miles, and my my knee was just full of water oh, for no. like a week." You know, what's up with that? Like, I'm not a doctor. I don't. I don't know all of the physiological things that are going on, but what I do know, and I've learned a lot from our formulator, he's a brilliant guy and he's taught me a ton about not just nutrition, but you know, the body. But you know, like inflammation, I think we're, we're used to hearing inflammation and thinking of it as just a bad word, like all inflammation is bad and it's not. Inflammation in the, by nature is, is a good thing. It's your body's response to, 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 to damage and stress. Mm -hmm. It's delivering water to a joint where there's a lot of stress and, and damage going on and, and strain uh, with water with that with that inflammation comes more nutrients more hydration but where inflammation becomes a problem is when it's when it's chronic when it's prolonged and it can be kind of it, it, it gains momentum when you mm -hmm. don't treat it and you don't con you know you don't you know take weight off of it when you don't rest when you don't give yourself the right nutrients to lower it um, so inflammation control like as a as a society like like Carla, I don't know if you've ever met Carla, Chris's, uh, Chris's wife, Co Courtney's mom. She's a doctor and she's a, a big believer in um, how inflammation, like an inflammatory response is like really at the root of a lot of our health yeah. issues as a country, not just, not just on like a joint level, but mm -hmm. on a gut level. Um, there's a lot of reasons why inflammation is something that you need to focus on. Um, but just, you know, on a real, on a, on a day to day level, something like joint advantage and, and omega three fish oils, um, it's a very natural, I mean, Joint Advantage is a super simple formula. It's glucosamine and MSM. Mm -hmm. uh, those two things, I mean, there's some other uh, extracts in there like white willow bark extract, um, things like that that are really effective at controlling pain. It's, it's, they're almost natural analgesics. They're not, they're not like as invasive on your liver as things like, uh, you know, Aleve and such. But uh, they're very simple formulas and like the omega-3 fish oils, those fatty acids are very instrumental in reducing the the discomfort and pain and burning of inflammation. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, those are two products which most people hear, I mean, because I, I love the, the Wild Sheep Foundation. We have, you know, mostly older gentlemen who've been doing this yeah. for a long time. They hunt hard and they've hunted hard for years and their joints have taken a toll. Absolutely. And they see the value in doing a little preventative maintenance mm -hmm. by getting that into their system every day. Yeah. There's so so there's so many things that you guys are doing that are incredible. You guys also just launched frostbites. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. I took those archery elk hunting this year. Cool. And 
every evening when we came back from the hunt, everybody had one. And yeah. we were all, like, they literally taste like popsicles. Like, yeah. your kids will love them. Yeah. I am a They're big kid, good. I guess. They're addicted. What was the brainchild behind that? Yeah, so that kind of goes back to, to working athlete. So our working athlete division, that space, you know, construction, all those types of work, they, they consume a lot of uh, popsicles. Really one of the main reasons is to lower core body temperature yeah. as a way to, you know, cool the body down. You know, I mean, when you're trying to make sure you're not overheating and seeing all the issues that come with that, mm -hmm. popsicles are a convenient way to get yourself some fluid. You know, they, they, they tend to consume, they include a lot of carbohydrates in them yeah. because they're pretty sugary. Sugar. Ours are lower than that. Um, and we use a lot more electrolytes than a lot of the competing uh, popsicles out there. Um, one of the main things is lowering core body temperature giving you a little bit of electrolytes to, to also help hydration levels. Um, you know, one of the things about it was like, you know, we just saw a void that these people were yeah. an opportunity where they were consuming these popsicles like crazy. Guys love them. It's refreshing. So it's, you know, just kind of you know, revitalizes you mm -hmm. a bit. But what they were consuming was just overly sugared, like yeah. just incredibly sugared. And so we saw an opportunity, hey, we can give you a much healthier solution. You know, we're trying to give you the best hydration product in the world. Let's also try to help you guys with this other thing you're consuming like crazy. Um, that's where it started, but you know, and, well, and it's doing we well loved there. It. I mean, we would oh, look forward to them at the end of the day, because you know, we're bow hunting and it's, it was, a, we had a really hot archery season while well, all fall was, historically yeah. like extremely hot yeah and you would just come back and you're just wrung out at the end of the day and i look forward to that yeah, every yeah. day kids like, love them oh my gosh oh, man. like yeah just yard work around yes. the house like there there's really you know there it's it's a bit different from the rest of our products which have like this very uh, specific nutrition health like focus like like objective mm -hmm. and they're just a healthier alternative than a lot of the, the crap that's out there, and it they just taste good, you yeah. know, flat out. So. He's laughing. He's like, ha ha ha. <laughs> no, they're. Is he done? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Mm. No. We we really enjoyed eating them, and I when i first saw them i was like why are we what is the yeah. deal with this but yeah. then we had them and you're like oh i, mean, I get it Once we you ate taste the it. entire yeah. bag in yeah. what like three days or something i mean we like yeah. destroyed it we're, we're giving them <laughs> out and we can't we next year we're going to figure out a way to keep them frozen we'll probably bring some portable freezer in here yeah. so people can eat them like we're just giving them out like you know melted and they just yeah. throw them in the freezer when they're yeah. home but um they're uh they're really popular we haven't really gone through a full like season with them mm -hmm. yet but once I think people realize how good they taste yeah. and that they're great while you're sitting by the pool or yeah. after you've done a bunch of yard work or whatever, mm -hmm. um, I think they're going to just grow in popularity. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. wilderness, well, well, there's so much we could go into. We could oh, spend two hours talking about multivitamins, the good stuff. If you guys are looking for something that has everything in it, the good stuff is individually packaged. So you have fish oil on one side and then you get a multivitamin, you get a probiotic, and you get... Um, Fish oil. Yeah, so yeah, it's just the three. Just the so three, So the fish yeah. oil is on the one side and the multivitamin and the probiotic is on the other side yeah. of the vitamin pack in case the fish oil pops. Yeah. Which yeah. I've never had one. Yeah. Um, so, but that has your probiotic, your multivitamin, fish oil in one. Yogi and I, my husband and I travel with them. Um, and we actually keep, we have this little bowl on the counter in the kitchen. Yeah. We keep them in and every day that's like, we just grab our pouch. We, he, he's like, did you take your vitamins? <laughs> did you, and he's, we're religious about it though, but we oh, yeah. keep them front and center in front of yeah. us. When you we're traveling to. for trade shows here, we bring them with us. Yep. So we're constantly trying to really just remind each other like, hey, how can we take care of each other? Hey everyone, we are all busy ramping up for turkey season because we know that our gear can literally make or break our hunt, especially if you guys are like me and you're gonna be bow hunting turkeys. As you all know, I have successfully shot Ramcat broadheads for a number of years, and last year specifically, I was successful turkey hunting with a 100 grain Savage mechanical broadhead on a beautiful tom. Now what I love about the Savage is it's a tried and true mechanical broadhead that has been in the Ramcat line for a number of years. It flies field point straight, and and it has excellent penetration characteristics 
in a huge one and a half inch cutting diameter. So if you guys are gearing up like I am for your turkey season and your bow hunting, I invite you to get online and check out the Ramcat Savage Broadheads. So one of the things like Yogi and I struggle with is trying to have everything in our life every day because we all get busy and our health, it's really easy to kind of fall by the wayside, yeah. um, which is why we keep the good stuff on our kitchen counter, which is why on a hot day, frostbites have just become like yeah. a huge part of our daily life, which sounds so weird, <laughs> but it, they're just so refreshing. Yeah. But we live on meal replacement shakes as mm -hmm. well. So mm -hmm. whether we're doing the meal replacement or making our own, which I really like to make our own out of protein powder with almond yeah. milk a few cashews and a banana oh, yeah. and it's so Sounds bomb good. It, yeah. they're good yeah it's almost like eating dessert a yeah. little bit and so those are kind of like the core products in our household that we mm -hmm. really function on but everybody it's it's hard to like remind yourself yeah. all the time to be healthy or eat healthy and so sure. you guys launched rugged routines this month yeah and it's just a great way to remind people like you don't have to be perfect yeah but pay attention to one thing yeah one thing yeah that's the thing that i mean really like that was just born out of the fact that we all in the company are the same as everybody else you know we we have certain habits that we want to stick to throughout the year but yeah. life happens and you get out of routines um you know whether it's a gym routine a certain dietary you know mm -hmm. thing you're working on whatever it is and you know the new year is always like that great time where everyone wants to try to reinvent themselves and yeah. lose a bunch of weight or whatever it is um what we have found to be more successful for us, and, and it seems to be catching fire, is just, you know, like you said, focus on one thing. What's yeah. that routine that you want to kind of get back to mm -hmm. that, you know, kind of build some momentum back into that with with something this month? And incrementally throughout the year, just keep working on those routines. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, life is challenging. There's always ex a million excuses to get away from oh, routines yeah. and things. And I think really the, the goal, like you said, isn't to be perfect all the time, but it's just always keeping those things in sight and, mm -hmm. and always working on them as best you can. And the person who does that is going to be way better off in the long haul versus someone who's just, you know, has to be all or nothing. Like, mm -hmm. you know, and that's, that's why you see so much failure when it comes to resolution plans and weight yeah. loss plans, because they think they've got to be perfect. And mm -hmm. there's such a high rate of failure that people just, they give up. They're like, you know, I, I couldn't, I, I, I had a cheat meal. That's okay. Like, uh, you're, the world you is know? not over if you have a cheat meal. You, it's you know, keep progress, living. not yes, perfection. Exactly. And, you know, so the rugged routines thing, it's, it's kind of two-pronged, you know, two-headed. Like, for, it was really kind of a, a message to our customers that we want to just encourage people and motivate people to get back to those routines that maybe they established early in the year or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but then we also, as a, as a company, like all of our employees, we're all super competitive and we've got a great team of people between you know wilderness athlete outdoorsmen and western hunter and, and like everyone we have at our office um we're all really competitive and it's we've got a great you know culture in our company and so we we put some money in the pot some money on the line and some other prizes and such and so it's just i think fun to kind of reinvigorate you know yeah. why you're doing these things everyone wants to win a little bit of money but the goal ultimately is to just do more yeah. you know today than you did yesterday mm -hmm. um and if we can kind of you know develop some good habits and some good momentum this month especially during trade show season which yeah. you know so far we've been really good going to the gym every day and, yep. and getting it in it makes it a lot easier to carry those things throughout mm -hmm. the year you know and it's it's like you were saying earlier it's, it's a lifestyle that you just you live with it's not like a okay during hunting season i'm in shape and then i'm gonna fall out of shape and yeah you know that that, that cycle is is hard i yeah. fell out of shape during hunting season this year but yeah like most I, you know too. and and i think like for me i um i you know i've hit that middle age mark and things are a lot harder for me when i was 32 years old i was in the best shape of my life i was competing and yeah. you're competing right? i was competing yeah. in bodybuilding yeah. but for me to be at that level, uh -huh. my body, I have to be 100% on my food, yeah. 100% on my workouts. If I eat one wrong meal in a week, it ruins the week for me. Yeah. So, I mean, that's just the way I'm built. I have a natural, um, my body has a really strong desire to be obese. Mm -hmm. um, I have like a lot of my family members are very um, overweight. And sure. so I really struggle with it. Like. You know, this fall I put on weight, we did so much tree stand hunting. Yeah. And so we are sitting in a tree stand and I'm whitetail hunting, 
going back to camp and I'm eating what's put in front of me. Yeah. Not mindful eating necessarily. Um, have a glass of wine with dinner. Yeah. Have a cookie in the stand or whatever. And I, you know, I put on some weight this fall and, um, I know like now I come home and I'm like, oh my gosh, like I have to work, you know, for if I put on five months, that's six to seven weeks worth of work sure. for me to lose the weight that I've put on, just the nature of my physique. And um, yeah. so when I come home, like from any trip, my husband, bless his heart, he's learned as soon as I'm home, the food scale comes out. Mm -hmm. I weigh and measure every meal and I'm cranking cardio. We yeah. have a home gym, I'm lifting weights because for me it's like literally like a constant battle yeah. to to maintain my fitness where it's at because of the the mean the way of life that I have, you know. Sure. Yeah. The amount of trade shows we're doing. We're in the gym every morning. Yeah. Um, I'm watching as you know, as good as I can what I eat here. Um, I you know, like two days ago, um, I went to the gym and I had a little bit of a headache when I woke up in the morning for not because I drank or anything funky like that. Like, don't uh -huh. judge me. Uh -huh. um, but I just had a little headache. I went to the gym without eating a bar. Okay. And um, I felt wrecked. And right. I was cranky. And I told Yogi I had to apologize like four times. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm yeah. be right yeah. now. But I don't feel good. And so this morning I had half a bar before we went and worked out. Because yeah. I, I don't need to eat a whole one. Right. Um, because I, it's just I, half of one was fine. We went, we did our interval training. We came back 100 percent. Yeah. So like for me, it's just finding that routine, finding products I can travel with. Yeah. That make it really easy for me to stay on point. And, and I'm learning, you know, I've learned over the years, like um, when I'm at these shows, instead of doing the big bacon and eggs breakfast, yeah. I, I typically just do the bar. Um, right. Our bars are great. They taste good. Um I don't do the brownie bites as much because I'm not a super, super chocolate fan. Like, if you're in love with, like, straight chocolate, like, yeah. brownie bites are yeah, knock out of the sure. park. But our bars are really good. They've got a ton of protein in them. Yeah. Really low in fat, low in sugar. I can have one of those in the morning, and then I could go and find a decent lunch. Yeah. And then be mindful with my dinner. And then I get my workouts in, and I'm kind of combating this, this struggle sure. for me. And, and I literally have had to have fitness be like a major part of my lifestyle because the yeah. minute I slack off it's it's such a struggle for me and I think there's a lot of people out there listening that are that are like that and you don't have to be perfect and that's what's great about rugged routines is just having that reset of accountability like yeah. what does your routine need to look like for you to stay honest I know for me I have to be very strict all of my life like yeah. I, I can't I can't afford physically to just let it go if I threw in the towel and ate all the Christmas cookies yeah. I wanted to or if I ate with my husband at night who I love him don't get me wrong but he's like oh I have to have something sweet and I've had a glass or two of wine and now I'm gonna have three cookies and I I'm like you just down one of those extra. one of those metabolisms he's like a thousand <laughs> calories later yeah. and I'm like yeah can I have a carrot please uh, <laughs> like, I know. you know what I mean but my problem is I love eating I eat I think bigger portions than him yeah like sure. as a general whole so that's why weighing food is really important sure. for Portion me and huge portion control for me is everything and like I mean I I can eat like a man like yeah, you know yeah. um, so I think for everybody with the rugged routines it's just establishing who you are what do you have to do to have a healthy lifestyle I'm not trying to be a competitive bodybuilder anymore yeah. um, but I still want to look good oh sure you know yeah, I'm, I'm wearing the same clothes today that I wore 10 years ago for the most part sure, um sure. my jeans this year are a little tighter than i'd <laughs> like them to be but um it's it, but for me it's just i i know the routine i have yeah. to live and if i get out of it at all yeah i mean it just goes it's to a, hell in a hand it's a fine line yeah, yeah you know i mean and that's that's uh at the crux of it really is you don't you can't live a life where you're just miserable neglecting yourself all the time yeah. you know you got to lean into joy when you're yeah. on certain trips but and I think people that uh, think they need to have discipline, discipline isn't like always saying, I can't have this, ha I yeah. can't have that. Discipline is just having like like what you're saying, having that accountability to know, okay, you know what? I'm living a little fast and loose for a yeah. couple of days. When I get back, I'm getting right back to it. And yeah. never keeping that 
never letting that routine and those healthy habits get too far away yeah. where they just seem insurmountable. Yeah. But it's a, and that's that's just life. That's a long lifelong yeah. balance. You know, there's a lot of people that are blessed with great genetics, um, but even with the best genetics of you know weight management, mm -hmm. it still takes work. And yes. you know, but for others, they got to work a little harder. But you mm -hmm. know, that's what are the, what's your alternative option? Mm -hmm. You give up and you you gain weight. You have a lot of negative health impacts because oh because for of it. sure so yeah. it's it's like you know it's the lifestyle and you know we're always going to promote that we're not mm -hmm. going to promote the we love seeing the pinnacle of health we love seeing elite you know athleticism and elite, yeah. elite things you know those are great things to aspire to but it's also not uh practical for everybody in everyday life and for you know certain circumstances like people with large families full-time jobs mm -hmm. and a lot of things are juggling you've got to be able to give yourself some grace um, and also know how to correct yourself yeah. when, you know, maybe you've put on a couple pounds because the holidays were rough on yeah. you. You know, it's uh, there's more. I think there's more strength in that than than people who just draw a hard and fast line and don't know how to rebound yeah. from a weekend of you know binge eating and drinking and yeah. stuff like that. You know, so it's uh, I think like having some grace with yourself and, yeah. and some of those things is, is important. For There's sure. a lot of people that preach like, oh, you, if you have to love yourself to do yeah. this, it's like, no, I hate the way my butt looks in those jeans yeah. enough to where I want to get yeah. up in the morning. Yeah, and it's not about loving myself. It's that, uh, that I I will hate how I feel. Sure. I will f hate how um, mentally, like the, the effects or whatever for me, that feeling is worth every oh, sure. bit of the effort to like make the effort to be on time and show yeah. up and have some discipline and have a routine. And I mean, I have really taken over the years of working with WA and taking our philosophies on the road as much as possible sure. and bringing it into my camps, bringing it into everything that I do. Sure. Because for me, it's, it's, it's night and day difference because I came from this background of being a supreme athlete at one point. Um, and I'm not, I, I don't have four hours a day to dedicate sure. to being that person anymore yeah. for six months on end or right, whatever. Right. Um, but I want to be the best that I can and I want to perform on the mountain and, and we have something for everybody. And, and I really think the rugged routines is a great step of that. But beyond that, we have programs now sure. like, Talk a little bit about our app and- Oh yeah, yeah, so the 28 day reboot. Most people, you know, probably knew it for years of the 28 day challenge. Um, we took it back to the drawing board uh, a year ago now or two, it revamped it, included a full workout plan. Um, we got some help from Courtney Levasque and some of our team to build a full meal plan and daily workout program mm -hmm. for for both the, the 20 day reboot, which is more of a weight loss, fat loss program. And then we rebuild. And the 20 day rebuild, you know? So, you know, whether you're the type of person who's like, I need to lose a bunch of weight and body fat, or you're like, no, I'm good. I need to gain weight and build mm -hmm. muscle. Uh, there's a program for you. Mm -hmm. And really the beauty of a program, and one of the, the biggest reasons why it's so popular is is having some structure yeah. um, is and really And a lot important. of people don't know where to start. Yeah. Like for me, yeah. I come from a background, I'm a nutritionist. I did competitive bodybuilding for years. Yeah. Like I, I know what to do. I know what I shouldn't be doing. Yeah. So when I'm doing something I shouldn't be doing mentally, I'm like, sure. I'm like, stop doing this. But a lot of people don't even realize sure. that they're eating something that they probably shouldn't be, or they go right. to lunch and they have a Caesar salad and they think they're making a good choice because they have a Caesar salad, not knowing they're consuming so much sugar as many and all calories stuff. as yeah. they are if they had a burger. I know. You know yeah. what I mean? And so that the programs that we have help people define yeah. what you should be eating and why. Yeah. And then also, how can we get you to your goal with, with the aspect of how you can move your body or train your body between yeah. mobility and weight bearing exercises, especially women as we hit that 40 year old mark, our bones um, deteriorate very, very rapidly. And we, our bone density is, is a, a big issue with older sure. women. Yeah. And weight bearing exercise for women that are over the age of 40, you need to be doing it three days a week to keep that bone density. It's gonna keep you from breaking a hip later yeah. on, keep you strong, keep your muscle yeah. strength, which also helps you have a better metabolism. Like all of these things in our reboot and rebuild programs, you know, you flip through them. If you don't have a starting point, it's a great accountability coach. Yeah. It's a great starting point. And yeah. it just answers a lot of questions and journaling. Right. Like I, 
I journal my food. I weigh and measure my food to this day. I have a journal in my kitchen and it is so ridiculous yeah. but i can tell you what i ate the week of my bodybuilding show 10 years ago yeah um because i journal so um deliberately it, it works because i mean studies have shown that just the physical act of taking pen to paper and writing down whether it's like your daily goal or your daily plans or whatever mm -hmm. it is uh helps you commit that way more to you to your to your memory to mm -hmm. your to your motivation um and yeah, so like our, our program comes with, uh, we call it a guidance tracker. There's yeah. a lot of education in there about, you know, why you're, what you're eating and why. Um, and, and really the goal isn't to be this fad nutrition program where at the end of 28 days, hopefully you lost you're the done. weight, good luck. Yeah, Yay. we want people to learn some things. <laughs> yeah. We want people to have some good habits that they yeah. can continue on. Um, it's, it's, that's really the, that's the, you know, a point of it is so you can live a long, healthy lifestyle afterwards and not just be kind of like, well, now what, you know, because yeah. you don't get anything from it. You're going back to your, your habits and your lack of knowledge when it comes to where to get certain nutrients mm -hmm. and, and why to avoid certain things when, um, it's a great program and it's like, you know, it's all, it's, it's diet, uh, exercise and, and like just journaling, you know, every mm -hmm. day there's things, the place to jot down, uh, your goals. And, one of the, the things it starts out with, which is I think critical for anybody starting any program, is answering your, your why, you know? Yes, and so you go purpose. through those five whys. And that's really, really important to make you hold yourself accountable yeah. to the reason why you're doing this in the first place. Mm -hmm. You know, most people start out with, you know, well, I wanna lose 10 pounds, you know, why? You know, well, I wanna fit in my clothes better, why? I, I want my wife to look at me, you know, the way she mm -hmm. used to. Why? Like all these things start to kind of boil down to the real reason why you're going to go through 28 days of some tough moments where yeah. you want to cheat, you want to eat some shitty food, you want to not go to the gym that day. Mm -hmm. But when you remember not just the 10 pounds you want to lose, but I want my kids to look up to me or I yeah. want my a marriage to be a little bit better. Or I need my cholesterol level yeah. to come or, down. Yeah, I want to live longer. I want to live longer. Those are things that are a lot more compelling yeah. to, yeah. you know, grit it out and stick to it and be dedicated than, you know, just just the number on the scale, which mm -hmm. isn't usually all that. Until, telling, you know? until a lot of these um, self heart, you know, high blood pressure, um, hypertension, uh, high cholesterol, um, diabetes, until they yeah. like smack us, a lot of people put it off. Sure. Until until something becomes until metabolically trouble, yeah. acute. Sure. People put it off and put it off and put it off. And even when you're facing these types of adversities, a lot of people want to look to a pill. Yeah. Well, what's the pill I can take? Yeah. What's yeah. the, what's the what's quick the, solution? The what can I do without a lot of effort? And yeah. there really is no easy answer no. for that. No. Um, which is, which is why it's so important. If you want strong bones, you lift weights. If you want a lean physique, you lift weights. Yeah. You right. know, if you want a healthy heart, you do cardiovascular training. Do right. so you want a great stroke volume? Um, yeah. All of these things equate to a longer, healthier lifestyle. Well, that's our, that's our society, right? We want yeah. the quick answer. We want the quick fix. Um, but you get enough quick answers and quick pills in your life, you don't you don't build the foundation of, no. of what you need really to, to take care of yourself in the long run. So, you know, yeah, there's pills that we make that'll help. Yes. There's there's a lot of products that we make that'll help. These are supplements. These are supposed to supplement your lifestyle. Your lifestyle. These aren't gonna give you the fix or all yes. the answers or take you from A to Z. Um, so it's, it's really about learning, you know, about your body, learning about mm -hmm. your health, learning about how your body is utilizing, you know, this and that and mm -hmm. paying attention to that stuff um, and doing preventative maintenance. You know, that's yeah. that's what I wish our whole country, especially in this time of, of our you know pandemic or whatever, where instead of talking about all of the lifestyle things we could be changing to increase our immune system health yes. and our you know, overall health and longevity, we're not really talking or focusing on educating our society on those preventative measures. Instead, we're focusing on the shot, the pill, the masks, avoidance, lockdowns. the masks. Yeah, because that's, that's just a, an easier calculation and it doesn't take as much effort, you know? It takes effort to get up at five mm -hmm. to go to the gym every day. Right. It takes some dedication to remember the foundations of your nutrition mm -hmm. and diet. And it's not an easy thing, it's a, it's a, it takes time. Yeah. So, you know, it overall characterizes, I think, just the things that humanity struggles with, which is not wanting to work hard. So yeah. you just gotta learn to be the type of person 
who enjoys working, yeah. you know, and there's a lot more reward and gratification in, in that journey than, than, than the pill. For sure. Absolutely. Well, yeah. and I can tell you though, like our lean life pill, Yeah. um, I deal with energy issues. Like I am always tired. I feel like, yeah. and our lean life number one gives me energy without jitters, but it curbs my <laughs> appetite enough to where I'm not such a ravenous. Like I was, was going to say that said, Magic, the magic pill is lean life. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, like, it is. The magic pill is lean life. It is. But I mean, like, it is. It helps, right? It's it not the solution. But for me, yeah. like, it it is something like I take frequently yeah. because I have more energy. I have more of a desire to do the workout. Which even our 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 pre workout um, brute strength. No, excuse me. Even our pre workout brute force. Brute force, yeah. Is like gives you that energy to like okay now i'm ready to go it's to the gym yeah. you know it's that motivation yeah. and so it's this stuff that you know wilderness athlete designs and formulates and, and makes to make you better isn't going to make you better unless you do the work it gives you the tools you know exactly. like they're tools it gives you the opportunity uh, and the motivation to do those things and, mm -hmm. you know honestly a lot of people don't want to hear this but like a program like the 20 day reboot you know you got program like 300 dollars, and people look at it and they gawk at it and like god that's a lot of money that's you know, nothing. There, there is something to be said for financial commitment. You know, when you buy something, when you yeah. put your cold hard, you know, hard-earned dollars to, to something. I, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna skip, not use it. I spent money on it. Mm -hmm. You know, you're financially accountable and, and committed to it in that regard, and that's that's something too. You know, mm -hmm. and um, but you know, lean life is by far like, especially in days like today, the trade show. Oh, I take it a lot dragging. because. I, I don't have time to eat and I don't want to eat the shitty food here. Yeah. And so I, it curbs my appetite mm -hmm. and I feel good. I've got energy. Um, but they're tools, you know, like all of our products. And so you still have to bring the effort to the table mm -hmm. um, and an open mind to the table for what your plans are. Mm -hmm. And if you lean on the products the right way, you're, you're going to see better results than you would without them, guaranteed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that's what I love about Wilderness Staff, that you guys are a company of integrity. The people that are here, they're, you guys are all great people. And literally every single one of you lives and breathes being healthier. Yeah. And, and in a really well-rounded way. It's not like you're like, take this pill. It'll make you, it'll, it's good. You'll get yeah. a pump. You'll yeah, get a sure. pump from this. Take this. Yeah, you, yeah. You're, that's not what no, you're selling. No. And I really love that about, this, about Wilderness Athlete, about your products. Like I said, you can pick up a their labels, you can read their labels, and you can have confidence that what you're reading in the labels actually in the product, yeah. and there's not a bunch of cheap fillers, and um, that you you have that confidence that you know you can you can give our multivitamins to kids if you want. Sure. You know, yeah. they're safe. It's not. It, it's it's something that your guys' name really is on. You've been with the company seven years. I've worked with Wilderness Athlete, like I said, for like 11. Yeah, we've got a lot um, to lose. We yeah. have yeah, our names. A lot to lose. You know, we're at these shows. We're in the public. Our names have been, you know, out there. You know, Floyd Green. I mean, his mm -hmm. name, Mark Paulson. Mark Paulson. Some yeah. of the most respected people in the industry. Yeah. And you're working with some of the best formulators in the country, sure. really, to create a product that is unique to WA, mm -hmm. that fills a purpose. Uh, for overall health and well-being. It does what it says it's going to do. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's the yeah. point for sure. And I really yeah. just want to kind of wrap it out too with um, you guys have a whole like mental health line now too. Yeah. Um, so going from just having like, um, uh, where's my train of thought here right now? Hold on. Our um, mastermind products? Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. So going just from having the mastermind products sure. to now you guys, you guys are doing your at ease is similar to like what like a St. John's ward, I would imagine, right? Yeah. Uh, kind of akin to that. Like yeah, it's gonna it's a, make it's you a mood feel booster, you know? Good. Yeah. It's gonna it naturally like a homeopathic like everybody knows what St. John's ward is. I always think of those two as being really, really similar. Like just that mental boost yeah. to make you feel better. So they're nootropics. Um and, and for people who don't really nootropics are a, a weird word, but it's it's elevating the performance mm -hmm. of the, your brain mm -hmm. and the natural functions of your brain, but it's improving the functions of mm -hmm. your brain. Um, you know, like a lot of people know about like alpha brain. That's probably mm -hmm. the most popular nootropic out there. Um, the most thing that's like that would be our edge. Um, yes. But we have unplug and at ease and they use some very unique cordyceps. So mushroom extracts, um, you know, valerian root extract. So like unplug and at ease use some similar um, mm -hmm. ingredients. 
Uh, one of the things that we do with Unplug as a sleep aid is we don't lean on melatonin. And yeah. melatonin definitely has its it has its place in certain people's life with in, in certain applications. But for most folks, you know, there's a lot of things you can do to improve your sleep habits and get your body ready for better sleep without handicapping yourself from producing melatonin down the road. Yeah. Um, that's and where you become gets very dependent sleep. on melatonin, yeah. which is also yeah. um, on the commercial sleeping pill side. A lot of people, um, a lot of women that are dealing with morning sickness, they yeah. give them um, some sleeping pills to combat morning sickness. Well, yeah. then women find that they become lifelong addicts yeah. of sleeping pills um, that have some some serious like long-term yeah. uh, dependency issues sure yeah you know so the the, the products themselves are great and um, one of the things that we we try to put as much content out as we can it, again these are tools so not just giving you this helpful sleeping pill but articles and tips on how to change your habits and behavior to get mm -hmm. you ready for sleep to get better sleep you know like reducing the temperature in your living room i mean your bedroom um certain you know tv screen phone habits reading certain things that are that have evidence you know scientific evidence to show you show that you're, you're gonna get better sleep mm -hmm. so it's you know again like same thing with with edge you know edge is to help mental focus mm -hmm. mental clarity energy mm -hmm. um there's a lot of things that we're also promoting to to give you that yeah. uh, through diet and you know habits and sleep. It's you know our bodies are one big system, and so you got to control not control, but you got to help the mind too if yeah. you want the whole body Absolutely. to be healthy as well. Yeah. I'm a monster at night when I don't exercise. My poor husband, when I don't work out, I'm like on the couch and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm like jumping on him and I'm like a rowdy <laughs> gremlin, and he's like, oh my god, what is going on? Like you need to be walked tomorrow. Yeah, like, right, right. like you know, I am, energy. I am a psycho. Like sure. seriously, if I don't work out at night, I drive him nuts. He's of like a voracious animal like yeah, yeah. Um, right so um there's so much that goes into taking care of your body in the gym taking care of your mind taking care of your whole well-being and yeah. you guys do so much for people i really thank you so much kevin oh, for of course yeah sharing all of this with everybody um yeah we are at the Wild Sheep Foundation. If you guys want to learn anything about Wilderness Athlete, go online to wildernessathlete.com. Um, you guys have a journal that people can subscribe to yeah. um, and get tons of great information as well. Yeah, I think the, the thing that I would encourage people the most, if you have any questions uh, related to our products or not, even if it's just about your health and nutrition or whatever, mm -hmm. um, we've got an incredible customer service team. Um, you know, we've got a very down to earth team and people that love, we just love to help people. So yeah. don't hesitate to call or email with any questions so we can just get involved. You know, that's that's one thing that we enjoy the most is just being able to help in any way, shape or form. So mm -hmm. that's, uh, yeah. So wildernessathlete.com, you can find them there. They're also on social media. So you can find them on Facebook. You can find them on Instagram. Um, both of them are just at uh, Wilderness Athlete Handle. Super yeah. easy. And if you guys have questions, email them, ask them, reach out. Yeah. Don't be afraid to ask. If you're at a show and they're here, ask for a sample. Ask questions. Let them know what's going on with your body. And maybe you guys, I mean, you're not doctors, but maybe you no. can help them. You know, no. everybody feel better. And, yeah, of and course. Uh, at the end of the day, that's we're all here to help each other be mountain tough and, and, and enjoy the outdoors more yeah exactly. basically what it's all about yeah. we yeah. want to be the best that we can so absolutely thank you kevin for joining course, me thank everybody you for me. thank you for being with us live for wild and uncut from the wild sheep foundation expo we are at the wilderness athlete booth thank you so much for everything of course I thank you it. yeah thank no you. my pleasure awesome. totally yeah. of course Thank you for listening to the Wild and Uncut podcast. If you would like to hear more, be sure to subscribe to my Pursue the Wild digital series on YouTube and follow me at Christy Titus on Facebook and Instagram.